In this video, we are going to look at the process of deploying or giving a test or quiz to a student. We're going to begin in a content area and we're going to go to assessments and we're going to choose test. We're going to find the test or quiz that we want to deploy, select it, and click submit. We now begin setting up the test options. Okay. So do we want this, win this test to open a new window, yes or no? Do we want this item to be available to the students, yes or no? Would we like Blackboard to create an announcement for this test? Do we want to allow multiple attempts? By default, Blackboard gives students one attempt. If we want multiple attempts, if we want multiple attempts, we check the box and then we choose how many attempts to give the student. The next option is force complete. Force completion means that the student must complete the assessment in one sitting. They can't leave Blackboard and then come back. Do we want to set a timer for this test or quiz? We can select that and then set the number of minutes we want to give the students. We can also set this to auto submit. What that means is at the end of the time period, the assessment automatically turns in for the student regardless of where they are. Just like other content items, we have a display after and until, so we can turn the link on and off for this assessment. We can also set up a password for this quiz. Uh, that means only someone that, that knows the password would be able to enter this assessment. The next option is test availability exceptions, and we're actually going to look in depth at that option in a separate video. We can set a due date for this item. Okay. Uh, we can set this up so students can't start the test if the due date is passed. Is this going to be a self-assessment, or do we want this to be included in the Grade Center calculation? If this is a self-assessment, do we want to hide those results from the instructor in the Grade Center? After the student submits their test, what do we want the student to see? By default, they see just their raw score. You have the option to allow them to see all of the answers, correct answers, submitted answers, feedback, uh, and incorrect answers. Uh, but we also have some other options if you're concerned about students sharing test question information. You can set this up so that after a specific date, or after the due date, or after the availability is ended, or after all the attempts are graded, then the students can see their score plus all their score, the answers, correct answers, submitted, and so forth. Uh, those are some of the options you have for how students see their test results. You also have the option to present your test one question at a time or all at once. If you do choose one at a time, you have the option to prohibit backtracking. What that means is the students can't go back and change their answers. And then finally, the last option we have here is randomizing questions. This is just going to randomize the order of the questions that you have built into the assessment for each student. Once you're happy with the options you've selected, click Submit. And if you've made the test available, the students will now see the link and be able to take it.